Hello children, welcome to CA session. Today we will start new chapter, chapter 6, Spreadsheets and Introduction. Students, in previous chapter we studied about Scratch. Scratch 1 will come in exam and practical also we have done. So the next part of the Scratch also practically we have done. But theoretically it will not be included in exam. So students, in chapter 6 we will study about Spreadsheets. You might have heard uh, Spreadsheet software. A first example is MS Excel because it is commonly used. So this software uh, have so many cells. When we start the software, we will be able to see a spreadsheet in which there will be cells. So, uh, Daniel Bricklin is the father of electronic spreadsheets. Daniel Bricklin has found electronic spreadsheets and in short... He is also called Dan Bricklin. In 1978, he found an idea of interactive visible calculator. It was simple one earlier. And with Bob Frankston, he invented first electronic spreadsheet software and it was known as VigiCalc. Okay. So, the primitive version of MS Excel we can say or Open Office KLC is Visi KLC. The software that was created by Bob Frankston and Daniel Bricklin was Visi KLC. So, in modern spreadsheets, there are some software that we are using in our daily life is MS Excel, means Microsoft Excel. Open Office KLC. Microsoft Excel, it will be, we need license for it. Open Office KLC is Open, of, open means free to download. Okay, source is also available freely. So this we can download freely from the internet and we can use it. So the software is the same. The company is different. This is free software. And it will work same as MS Excel. So, now I will study about spreadsheets. So spreadsheets, spreadsheets are actually softwares in which we can store large amount of data in spreadsheet or in form of tables in spreadsheet is actually combination of cells a small single unit is known as a cell so combination of few cells can make a table and this way we can store a large amount of data on those, in those cells in the spreadsheet and it performs it can perform auto automatic calculations on the data stored in the spreadsheet so students spreadsheets actually contain cells. There are so many cells in a spreadsheet in which we can store large amount of data. In data we can store numbers and we can make calculations with those numbers. Okay, it means calculations can be done and we can insert formulas in it, functions and formulas in spreadsheets for automatic calculations. So students now will study about Features of spreadsheets. What more benefits we can get from using uh, spreadsheet software in spite of storing the large amount of data and automatic calculations. There are many more features in spreadsheet. So students, first of all, error free calculations. You know very well computer cannot work automatically. So if we have provided the correct data and we have inserted correct formula and functions then the spreadsheet will give you the correct calculation. Okay, there will be error-free calculation. So for that, you have to write the correct formula. You will get correct answers. So then automatic recalculations. Now what happens once we have inserted the data and we have inserted formulas and functions, then automatic calculations will be done. But when we change that data or we change the formula, automatically, it will be recalculated and answer will be given according to the data and the formula. Got it? So, it automatically recalculates. Then there is extensive help. Extensive help means the software which we are using will be having a help button. We can click on it and then we can use various features provided in spreadsheets. Okay, we can learn that how we can use different features in spreadsheets. How to insert the formula, how to insert functions, what are cells, tables, excel, everything. Each and every topic will be discussed over there. And online help is also provided by the software. 
so we can click on that and we can take help online from the company's website then there is data sorting sort it sorts the data also means uh, we can sort data as uh, in ascending or descending order then tables and graphics as cells will be there there will be boxes so we can simply uh, combine the group of cells and we can uh, put borders in it it will become a table so we can arrange data in form of tables then we can insert pictures also in it okay pictures we can insert charts etc to make it attractive what if analysis what if analysis is also possible that we have calculated the amount with 10% profit then we in the next row we can calculate 20% profit then in the next we can calculate 25% profit then 30% profit and so on so this way we will get data in different different rows with different different percentages of discount so here we will be able to analyze with the help of data as well as we can convert that table into the chart or a graph so that we can compare it with the help of charts and graph so it will be very easy once we have the data to compare we can compare it in the table the data is arranged in rows and columns with different percentages of discount then we will be able to analyze otherwise the charts also there will be bars in the graphs and charts that will also be very helpful to analyze the data now data formatting data formatting means the data which is there in the spreadsheet means in the form of table we can format it we can uh, put a background color in the heading then a background color for the data also uh, in rows and there can be different background color in the columns we can put border of the table and there are inbuilt designs also we can choose inbuilt designs directly or we can create we can format the data according to our choice now data protection after preparing the spreadsheet you can protect the data how we can protect the data we can put password in it so that whenever we enter the password then only we will be able to use the file that we have created using spreadsheet software now students we will discuss about advantages of spreadsheets just now i told you about many features of spreadsheets very much similar to it there are some advantages also it's almost same like features so first of all it is easy to learn as there are cells a box in which we can enter data so it's very easy we can select the data and we can put formula and we can get the answer so it's easy to use also so supports huge amount of data as there are large number of cells in it we can store large amount of data in it and when we start the software it will be the whatever document will open it will be a workbook why a workbook because in beginning we will get three sheets inside it got it and here near the three third sheet there will be new sheet button so we can insert many sheets in a single workbook got it so once we start the spreadsheet software the file that open is a workbook like you might have seen a textbook page number 1 page number 2 3 and so on the same way here also this is a file means a workbook and sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 and so on in sheet 1 we can store large amount of data then in sheet 2 again we can store enough data same in 3 then we can create many sheets in it and we can store large amount of data in every sheet so it supports huge amount of data now formulae once we have inserted the data there are features provided by spreadsheet in which we can insert formulas automatic calculations can be done with those formulas like addition subtraction multiplication division on huge amount of data the next is saves time so it saves times as simply we have to select the data and we have to write the formula 
So the equation will be done in no seconds, okay, in very less number of time, and that is why it saves a lot of time in calculating the large amount of data. Now, interactive. It is very interactive because at the time of creating the data, storing the data, creating the table, writing formulas and all, we can, whenever we want to, we can change the data. It will give us the result accordingly. Whenever we want to, we can change the formula and it will provide us result accordingly. So, it will be interactive. Then automatic calculation and recalculation can also be done. So, this we have discussed. Automatic calculation means... Once we have uh, created a table, we can select the table, we can insert a formula and we will get the calculations. And if we change the data, automatically the calculations will be adjusted by the software. The same way if you are changing the formula, automatically we will get the new result. So that is recalculation. Then visual features. Visual features means visually also we can make it attractive. Like we can design the table in it. We can design the data. We can format the data. We can insert graphics in it. We can insert charts etc. Now saved data. Once we have created the uh, workbook. There will be so many sheets in it. Lots of, lots of data in every sheet. Then we can save this sheet permanently. Okay, until and unless we are not deleting it. It will be there wherever we have saved it. Then printable. Once we have prepared the spreadsheet file, we can print it. Okay. Then multiple sheets in same file. As I have already discussed, there are many sheets in a single file okay in a single workbook this is same file this is a workbook a single file in which there are three sheets by default and there will be new sheet button over here when we click on it automatically the new sheets will be inserted so students only this much for today thank you have a nice day